My name is John Held. I'm an artist from San Francisco. By profession, I'm an art librarian. And I was an art librarian in Dallas, Texas during the uh, 80s and 90s. In the late 80s, friends of mine brought John Cage up uh, to give a concert at the Dallas Museum of Fine Arts. And before that, I was offered the opportunity to uh, do an interview with him, uh, which is pretty interesting. We had a cable television station there, so it was a video interview of, of one hour. And basically, I know nothing about music at all, so I just did a chronological, biographical, you know, uh, anecdotal history with him. Um, and uh, he pretty, white, pretty much went through the uh, standard uh, pat answers that he had for most of his interview questions and everything. Um, and it was an interesting interview. I mean, there were some uh, things that came out. I was particularly interested in Deschamps, so we mentioned Deschamps quite a bit. Uh, but basically, he stuck to his, his pat answers that can be found in uh, Richard Castellanos' uh, interview, interviews, with, conversations with Cage. But the most interesting thing was after the interview, we went to the concert at the Dallas Museum of Fine Arts with my friends and Cage, and people were uh, performing his work. So he was sitting in the uh, front row, and I was sitting uh, next to my friends who had brought him there in the front row also. And they had uh, their child with them, who was a girl about two or three at the time. Younger, as a matter of fact, maybe one and a half, too. Because at one point, they put the child down, and she started crawling up the stage. There's a series of steps. And was, walk was crawling among the uh, performers. And the mother went up to get her, and Cage stopped her to let the child progress, you know, as she would uh, during this performance. That's my final story, John Cage. There you go.